There are some very dangerous animals on Earth, but domesticated dogs are not. It's unfair to callously label a dog as dangerous. Nevertheless, it can't be helped that some dog breeds have more potential to cause serious harm if the dog were to decide to attack. Lastly, it is important to note, however, that most dogs are bred with the desire to please their masters. Thus, most incidents involving dogs stem from improper training and harsh ownership. Therefore, we've listed 10 of the most dangerous dog breeds focused on the potential of a dog to cause serious injury. Let's start with number 10, Rottweiler. The Rottweiler is a very massive dog. They can weigh up to 130 pounds and most are pure muscle. Also, they have an impressively strong bite. Their jaws are stronger than pit bulls with a bite force of 328 pounds per square inch. This dog is considered to be dangerous because he has a genetic predisposition to guard and herd. Not all of these dogs are savage beasts. As with many breeds, these dogs have a bad reputation due to abuse, neglect, lack of socialization, lack of training, and being cared for by irresponsible owners. Number nine, Borble. The Borble is considered to be the most agile of the Mastiff type dogs. Also, the normal Mastiff bites are around 500 pounds while the Borbles is over 600 pounds. While the Borbles temperament is very affectionate, even tempered and deeply loyal to their family, they have a long history protecting persons and property from strange people. They can be a bit standoffish with strangers and can show aggression when feeling uneasy. Socialization is very necessary for Borbles because they can seriously injure. Number eight, Doggo Argentino. The Doggo is also known for his incredibly muscular body. These dogs have gotten a bad reputation in the past. As very strong dogs and big game hunters, these dogs are not so dangerous towards people. However, they can be dangerous to smaller dogs and animals. This is because they have a strong urge to hunt their prey. If they're properly trained, loved, and cared for, they can be great family pets, even in homes with small animals. Number seven, Preza Canario. This Mastiff's name means Canary Island Catch Dog, and they were trained to take care of livestock for the matter. This breed is very powerful, and they weigh about 130 pounds. They need proper training to learn socializing, and they must be taught to control their temperament. Otherwise, with such weight and poor training, they can cause serious damage. There have been reports that the Preza Canario has also attacked people. Number six, Caucasian Shepherd. The Caucasian of Charka are very strong-willed, assertive, and courageous. These can be excellent qualities in a dog that has been trained properly. If not, these dogs can be extremely ferocious and impossible to manage. They have an uncontrollable urge to defend their home and the people in it. Also, he is such a large, powerful dog, it can be difficult for an owner to stop the dog once he's begun his attack. The Caucasian Shepherd's protective instincts have been known to save lives as well. Number five, Tosa Inu. These dogs belong to Japan, and they've been around for a long time. Originally bred to be a fighter, their sheer size and weight, which can be up to 200 pounds, makes them the powerful force of terror. The bite force of these dogs is over 500 pounds, which says a lot about their power. Since they're known for their impressive, powerful presence, Tosa Inu is considered dangerous and is banned in the United Kingdom and several other countries. Number four, Pitbull. The Pitbull is considered to be the most dangerous dog in the United States. They're actually very cute. However, many Pitbull owners make alterations to the dog to give them a mean and fierce look. This is part of the reason that people are so afraid of these dogs. The other reason is the way that these dogs are treated. There are many unethical criminals out there who train these dogs to fight each other. To train them, they torture them. For these reasons, Pitbulls have been known to attack and have a bad reputation that they don't deserve. Number three, Chow Chow. This dog has a very poor reputation and is considered to be a high-risk pet. They're often very protective of their owners and can sometimes get out of hand and create a frenzy type of situation. They have a very powerful bite force of 220 pounds per square inch. If they don't have the right training and if they don't live in the right environment, they can be dangerous. Number two, Fila Brasileiro. The Fila Brasileiro's mighty appearance is intimidating, as is its fearlessness. Fila Brasileiro, or Brazilian Mastiff, is a large working breed of dog developed in Brazil. It's known for its superb tracking ability, aggressiveness, and an unforgiving, impetuous temperament. 
Owing to these qualities, the Fila Brasileiro is used as a guard dog, as a cattle dog for livestock, and as a hunting dog for tracking and controlling large game. Poorly trained Fila Brasileiro dogs can become very unpredictable and dangerous. Number 1. Wolf Hybrid Many states have already banned the possibility of owning a wolf hybrid as a house pet. Because of the genetic nature of a wolf, these dogs can be very unpredictable. Some of these dogs get more traits of a dog, while others get more traits from the wolf. Their bite force is over 400 pounds per square inch and very fast. Improper socialization and training makes them even more dangerous. That concludes our video on the 10 most dangerous dog breeds. Let us know what your favorite dog breed is. If you like this video, then subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.